Hey, what's up, YouTube friends? It's been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. It's about time to take the take the Farago out for another blast. It's getting really cold here in Chicago. It's like way too cold, and uh, it's about time to to put the bike away for the winter. So I'm thinking zero to 60 blast. Just wind the sucker up. See what it'll do. Nobody around. Nope. Here we go. Let's see what it'll do. Come on, baby. Do it. Come on. Thinking uh, about eight seconds, ten seconds, maybe. That kind of sucked. But then again, it's only 250, so hey, what do you want? Still cool for Israel. It's turned out to be a pretty fun little bike. It uh, was kind of fugly when I got it, but uh, you know what? It's pretty. It's pretty sick now. With, uh, the new handlebars and a little clear turn signals, and no front fender and stuff. It really, uh, it really turned out to be a pretty cool little bike. Now. The only thing I'm noticing is, and of course people warned me about this, was it's too slow. Yep. First one to admit it, it's too freaking slow. It's still a good cruiser, so don't get me wrong. I mean, if you just, uh, for cruising around, shit, 70 miles per gallon, come on, you can't beat that, but you're not really, you're not going to win any races with it. Well, I don't know. Unless you're racing like a maybe like a 79 Ford Escort or something, I'm sure you can kick its ass. But it looks pretty sick. It looks fast and it sounds fast. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's uh, and it handles great. So there's still a lot of good that came out of this bike. It's still a uh, if you were gonna commute on a bike every day, I would say this this bike would be great. It's a great commuter bike. It's a great cruiser. You know, it's not a racer. I was gonna kind of change out the seat next, do the whole uh, cafe racer thing, which is really, you know, if I were to swap the gas tank and the uh, in the seat, it would uh, actually make a nice little cafe racer. It's kind of halfway there with like the handlebars and the little turn signals and stuff. But I think. Um, Probably gonna end up selling this bad boy in spring, and I don't know. Might get a bigger bike. Um, also thinking about buying a WRX, um, just modding that bad boy up. I've got a, I've got a G35 now. You may have seen it. Uh, one of my videos got a G35 with nitrous, which is uh, just really fun. It's been a good car. It's pretty, pretty fast actually, especially when I uh, when I launch with that freaking nitrous. It's almost impossible to keep the uh, keep the tires uh, going ballistic. But I'm kind of ready for a new project, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get another bike or not. I want to just make some room in the garage for a different car. And I still got the pit bikes, so I still plan on doing some pit bike videos. Those are fun as hell. And, uh, you know, maybe I can get my two wheeled action that way. But, I don't know, sport bike has kind of been calling my name. And I'm not 
sure if I'm going to pull the trigger on a sport bike or just uh, stay away from bikes, period, for a while. I'm not sure. I'm sure, I'm, you know, I'm saying now I'm going to sell it in spring and then, sure, spring's going to roll around. It's going to be nice out. I'm going to want to get on the bike and take it for a cruise, and then, bam, guess what? It's bike mode. So, let's see what happens. That's why I'm thinking if I, uh, if I get this WRX, it's probably going to take my mind off of bikes. I have a nice little turbo car. Of course, this car is going to be a five-speed manual. I'm not getting another, uh, another car with an auto, unless I found one with a dual-clutch automatic. It's, uh, it's a great day now to be riding the bike, a little bit cold, and uh, you know, it's time to put it away for the winter, so I'm just, just enjoying it now while I can. For you guys that live in uh, warm climates, you know, like uh, Florida, California, even uh, southern Texas, Arizona, you guys are probably riding your bikes year-round and I've never lived in a climate like that where I'd have the pleasure of you know, being able to ride ride a bike year-round that'd be pretty uh, be pretty sick you know honestly if I lived in a warm climate like that I would probably ride uh, probably ride the sucker year-round man I'd probably have a few bikes to tell you the truth not just a big bike I'd probably get like a Cruiser and uh, maybe get a sport bike. That would be, uh, be pretty sick. So anyway, guys, keep on riding and uh, be safe. Watch for more videos and go ahead and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.